Here, let me tilt. You're leaned up against my weed killer. Good job, y'all. All right, here we go. You're going to give me that opposite elbow to knee. So bring that right knee up. And then same side. Boom. So cross the body. Same side. Cross and same. Good. Keep it going. Just getting warmed up. Almost had an emergency today, y'all. I dropped my contact. Couldn't find it anywhere. And then I couldn't find my replacement contacts. Y'all almost had Stevie Wonder teaching our class today. Good. Last two. Last one each side. Good. Switch it up. Cross. Up. Just warming up that waistline, the shoulders, those legs. All in one fell swoop. I think we have two sets of moms that have their daughters with them today. That's cool. Because Tammy and Nicole both have their kids with them. Woo-hoo. Cross. Up. Y'all grab water, take breaks anytime you need it. And if I don't offer the modification you need or want, wave at me and I'll give you one. Hold it right there, guys. Give me that straight kick and reach. I'm kicking y'all in the camera. It's a weird place to kick y'all. Keep going. Keep it up. Keep it up. Move that up. Good. A few more. A few more. Five. Three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to do that nice gorilla squat. So take those feet nice and wide. Hands down in front of you like you're a big gorilla. All right. Hands down in front of you. Take it down to the ground. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see down the ground. Lift your tail. Drop it. Reach nice and tall. Down. Tail up. Tail down. And reach. Down. When you reach, I want you to reach really high, really tall, bring the ribs up and everything stretching through there. Blow all that breath out on that reach. So now we're getting those hammies, those quads, and your shoulders. Let's do two more. You're not locking those legs out. When you lift your tail, let it go. P-step, jump back. Right foot's going to lean every time on this one. So just out, out, and back. Up, up, back. P-step and jump. Good. Just getting all our guts and our body parts warm. Good, last one. Switch it up. Left foot leads. Left foot goes. Sounds like if you're ready to start, we will rock you in my garage. This goes boom, boom. Good, one more. Good, arrest arms. This time, just going back and forth. Opposite elbow to knee. Y'all look so good. Keep it going. Yes, yes. Last one, and now give me a nice wide stance. Give me a mini squat, toes out to the corners, and now we're just taking it side to side. Beautiful, y'all. Good, good, keep it going. Looking good, Shannon disappeared to our cat and ate her. Two more. Last one each side, give me a kick and a reach. Kick and reach. If, if kicking's too much, you can always just bring the knee up, just like this. Or you can kick it out if you want. Some people are real tight in their hamstrings, in their hamstrings. So this is too much without making you do this. And I don't want you to do that. So just do the knee if you need to. Four more. Three, two, one. Give me 10 jacks right here. You can be right here, low level, no jumping, or up here. I hope you're counting. Kidding y'all. Last three, two, one, gorilla. Let's do it. Squat, lift, down, and reach. Squat, tail up, tail down, and reach. I 
I can turn around so y'all can see that my pants are squat print also. That's very important to people like me and Brandy. <laughs> Come on, a couple more. Good, last one. Lift and reach. Now we're going to do that B step and jump back. We're going to alternate the lead foot each time just to mess with your brain. So right starts, left goes next. Nobody can see you if you mess it up. Let us do it. Right foot, jump back. Left foot, B, jump back. Right, B, and back. Left, B, and back. Come on, keep it going. Four more. Three more. Dose. Last one each side. Finish strong. Grab a sip of water, y'all. We're starting at the number 10, and by 10, working our way to 60. We're going to start with 10 renegade rows. We'll be on the ground for that, and that's going to be 10 on each side. With me, if you go faster than me, just keep going until I finish so you get some extra in there. All right, y'all. I'm going to show it to you. You can be on your knees if you need to be. All right. So with the renegade row, if you're in that plank position, weights are under your hands. You can totally be right here on the knees. You cannot be right here. And if being on the knees is way too much, you can be in a tabletop position. You can be right here. All right? It just can't be like this. If you're going to line up like that, knees need to be under shoulders. You know what I mean. Knees under hips. All right, so let's do it. Ten each, starting with the right arm. Let's go. Look out in front of you, don't drop your head. Good. Try not to twist your hips, keep them nice and still. Take your legs other side now. Take your legs a little bit wider if you need to for stability. Make sure your wrists are lined up on your shoulders. Four more. Three more, two, and one. Leave your weight. Leave your weight. I wish I knew what was next. Sorry, I forgot. We're doing a squat kick with a chest press. So it'll look like this. Whatever weight you want to grab, we're going to squat, kick, and press out with that chest press, okay? And we have 20 of those. I'm just going to grab medicine ball because it's nice and close. I want you to roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Feet your hip width apart. Sink your weight into your heels. 20. Let's go down and up. Press and kick. Alternate the legs. Sink your weight into your heels each time. Think about your heels. That's more than halfway done. Come on. Come on, last three. Two. Back to those rows, y'all. On the floor, this time alternating, still 10 each, so a total of 20 alternating renegade rows. I'm going to do it on knees this time to show that modification. You do how you want to do. Let's go. Blow that breath out as you lift. Try not to twist that body. If you're with me, you've got two more. Now both arms, go. JK, y'all, JK. All right, y'all know I have 30 seconds of the man maker. I'm going to show it, and I'm going to show a modification. With the man maker, you're going to do those rows you were just doing. All right, try to throw a stopwatch out. So with the man maker, 
You're going to give me a nice row each side. You got a lot of rows today. Jump it up, squat, press. Now, if you do not want to take that weight, all that weight up, you can just grab one dumbbell, squat, press. You don't have to take both up. All right? Y'all ready? 30 seconds. You're only going to get a couple. Let's go. You can walk it or jump it up. I'll show it walking it. But when you walk it up, I want you to dip a little lower, press it up. Come on, four seconds. You got one more in you finish. And let it go. 20 squat with the ball kick. Don't worry, you'll get a big break after this big set. Squat with the ball kick. We got 20. Y'all ready? Let's go. Down and up. Y'all look gorgeous. Keep it going. Nice. Ironically, my mother daughter teams are on top of each other on my screen right now. Woohoo! Good. Two more, two more. Come on. Let it go. Renegade Rose. Ten right, then ten left. On your knees, or in a plank position. Let's do it, y'all. If you want to go for lean muscle, keep it going. Make sure you're counting. Alternate. If you want to go for more fall, stay on the same side. All right? I'll give you that choice on the next one. Switch it up if you have it. Again, don't drop your head. And if you finish early, pull plank. Good, let it go. Our next one, guys, we have 40. Alternating crescent squats. You can hold the dumbbell for that if you'd like. I'll show it to you. 40 total, so we get to count each one, one equals one. And what you're going to do is draw the half moon with your knee. Sorry, y'all, I'm going to slip for. Draw it, squat, back in, squat, other side, squat. Nice and narrow, squat. That was four. So you join me, come on. So take it out, back in and narrow, out. Good, good. You're thinking this will go by pretty quick, it counts for four. Every time we make a pass, well, you're at 20. You're halfway. Good. Shove the weight in your heels. 10 more. Finish it right here. You should have felt those hits, guys. You should have felt those hits. You've got 30 seconds of the man maker. Y'all ready? Bring it down. Your time starts now. Show the modification on this one. Show that modification if you need it. Wherever you are, this will be your last one. And 
and let it go, guys. Moving on to the 50. We have 50 bent over rows with a knee up and overhead press. So if you have a lighter set of weights, I'd recommend that on this one. Sorry, y'all. I get some water running my mouth. Um, so what that's going to look like. We're going to be roll the shoulders back. Take that right knee back. Actually, a lot to you. You don't really even need the weight in your right hand. So, right side, I mean, in your left hand. Weight is only in your right side. We're going to do a nice bend over row. Looking like this, like you're starting a lawnmower. You're going to row, press. Y'all got me? Y'all got me? 25 each leg. Let's do it. Row, knee up and press overhead. Row, knee up and overhead. Tap down for balance if you need it. Otherwise, challenge yourself. Try and take that leg straight back. Keep it going. I want to look at y'all. You're doing good, people. Same arm that rose is the same knee that goes up. Y'all are gorgeous. Woo! Good. If I have a counter on there who wants to yell at me, I estimate we're about 16. Jenny, is that you, girl? 14. Thank you. It's hard to estimate when I'm checking for Now that's 16, girl. Come on, come on, y'all. 20 right there. Boom. If you get extra, don't you worry about it. Just get some good work. Don't drop that head. Keep the neck and spine in a line. Good. Two more, two more. Last one. Boom. Press it up. Switch it up. Roll your shoulders. Reset yourself. Move those little legs around if you need to. Kick that left leg back. Nice flat back hinge, row and knee up, overhead press. I'm trying to find the best place on this floor so it's not throwing my balance off. Have you yet to find it? Blow that breath out when you pull that weight back and when you press it overhead. Halfway. Don't worry, you only have to do this set twice. And when you row, you're not swinging, you're pulling. So you're pulling that weight to your armpit. I'm seeing a little bit of swinging. Don't swing. Or you're not getting the body part to work. Come on, three more. Two. Last one. I know it's kind of hard to see me sometimes because it's dark what I'm doing, but when we do this one next time, I'm going to get close to you so you can see. The motion with your arm is just pulling that elbow back like you're starting a lawnmower. So you're not kicking back, it's just a pull back, okay? Just showing that. So when we do it the next time around, everybody's on the same page. Okay, y'all ready? 40. Alternating crescent squats if you want a dumbbell. Bring it with you. you ready? Here we go. Take it out. Big squat and in. That's two. Three and in. That's four. Good. Y'all sink into your heels each time. Come on. 
Right about now, some air conditioning will be so nice. Halfway. Come on, y'all. This is the last pass right here. Finish with that left leg. And let it go. 30 second man makers. Y'all ready? Let's do it. 30 seconds. Showing that second modification on this one from the knees. So it's a nice little renegade row. Walk up or jump up for the push press. Push twice. And let it go, y'all. 20 squats with chest press and the kick. You ready? Roll your shoulders. Let's get it. Come on. Keep it going. Yes, yes. I love the overhead press. Add it into it, Tammy. Chest press it, baby. Out to the front. Keep it going. Shannon, how many? <laughs> I hope you're counting. I've been watching y'all's pretty form. Come on, come on, give me a couple more, couple more. One more set each side. Ten renegade bros, y'all. Ten each side. No cheating. We only have one more set of these after this one. So again, your choice. Do you want to build up that muscle? Ten each side. Lean. Alternator. Go, people. Go. If you finish before I do, just hold your plank. Again, don't drop your head. Look out in front of you. Try and keep your hips still. For me, the last two, last one. If you're not finished yet, finish it. Keep going until you finish your 20. If you're with me and you're done, we've got 60 seconds coming up. It's our last round of this one. All right, y'all, I'll show it to you. That's your breath. We're going to do a nice little bear crawl. So with the bear crawl, I'm going to shake from the side. Hopefully you can see me. Don't drop your head right here. Knees are above the ground. You're going to crawl forward for three. Tap. Back for three. Tap. So it's really four. I just like to call it three and a tap. It is 60 seconds of love and goodness. Your time starts now. Y'all go ahead and start. I'll show the modification on this. If you don't want to go down to the ground with your hands, you'll be here in this nice little squat. You're going to be Free for forward, free for back. Okay? Stay nice and low, thinking about your heels. Forward and back, if you don't want to go to the ground. If you're on the ground, keep table topping, keep the knees hovering right above the ground. Keep going, keep going, y'all. See if I can see anybody. Walk forward for three, walk back for three. Good. 
Gorgeous, y'all. Gorgeous. Come on, five seconds. Bring it up. Bend over row. Knee up with an overhead press. We have 25 each side. I'm going to try and show this one. You can do whatever side you want to do first. I'm going to start from this side so you can see. Front leg is bent, back leg is nice and straight, but with a soft knee. Hinge forward, lean forward, flat back. Pull that elbow straight back. Knee up and overhead press. And press. Come on, y'all got this. Slow and controlled. I hope you haven't seen me okay. I left the garage door because I was about to spontaneously combust. I want you to really pull that knee up as high as you can. That gives that low abs some work. So try not to blow through these. I feel like we blew through them the first time around. But you're more than halfway done, okay? Yes, keep it going, mother daughters. You're on my screen right now. According to my calculations, four more. Are you blowing out right there? Right there? Two more. Boom. One. And boom, switch it up. Roll it, reset it, kick that leg back. Let's go. Now, if you need to tap between like this, do that, y'all. Y'all look beautiful. 12. I'm trying to count as I look at y'all. 13. Nice. 14. Good, good. Good, good. Good. I hope I kept count appropriately as I was watching y'all. I'm on 21 right here. Last one, your best one, pull. Give me that good press way up in that knee. Beautiful crescent squat, y'all. Out in, out in. You get to count each one. Keep your weight if you want it. Let's start with that right leg. Draw me that crescent move out. Squat, bring it in. Squat, that's two. Think about your heels. Boom, go into them each time. Halfway, you guys. This one is meant to be a little quick. We're getting that heart rate up. It's like you're stepping over a ditch. Looping back. Last set. Finish it, y'all. Come on, finish strong. 30 second man makers. 
Last time on these beautiful, beautiful things. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Come on. I'm doing it full out this time. You want to try it? And that's time, y'all. Squat kick with a chest press. We have 20. Drag your dumbbell. Whatever you want, but we're chest pressing with a squat kick. Ready? Let's go. So pressing straight out from your chest. Come on, five more. Last one, 10 rows each side. Then you get a 90 second break. You ready? Alternate for 10 each. You pick, let's go. Try to keep the hips still. I know you're tired. Try and keep them still on this last set. And when you get done, take a child pose for just a second for me. Child pose for just a second, you guys. Good job, Tammy. Woo! Good job, Jenny. I can't see you, but I know you're down there child posing, girl. Woo! All right, y'all. When you feel ready to get up, jump up, grab you some water. Let's take this little break. Then we're going to get right back at it. Different workout this time. Different sequence. I ran out of water, y'all. Come get me a little gator snake. It has zero sugar, but it still tastes yummy. Everybody doing okay? Can you thumbs up me? Are you sweating your butts off? Or is that just me in my garage? Okay. I just opened the door. I sure hope y'all can see me. Nicole, y'all doing all right? Woohoo! Preston? Throw me that thumb down there, girl. Thank you. Tammy and Tammy's daughter from Georgia. Y'all good? Good girl. Shannon, I see you got something in your eye. It's probably cat hair. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Marcy. Hey, Jennifer. Natalie. Y'all doing okay? Brittany? Good girl. All right. And my last two, Tammy and Jenny. Y'all doing okay? Heart rate's coming down. Try not to stand completely still, even if you just shake your rump. Just shake your rump from side to side, okay? All right, y'all, just because I always over plan, I have three sequences to do. We're no way going to get through all three today since it took us over half the class to get through one. So we're going to do, we're going to do the sequence on the ground to start off the next one just to make sure we get some good core work in. And we're doing crab touches to start out, but don't worry. These, these aren't one, one, two, two. They're one, two, three, four. So I'm not trying to kill you on this. If everybody's feeling okie dokie, we're gonna get started. You're gonna take it down to the ground. The crab touches look like this. You're gonna be in a reverse tabletop. It does not matter which way your little fingertips are pointing, just as long as you're comfortable. I will show a modification too. You're gonna to press up and keep it pressed up. Keep your fanny up. You're gonna reach for that opposite tab. All right, that's 10. 
go ahead and start. I want you to do 10 of them. If you need the modification, you can be down on your booty right here. Okay, you can have that booty on the ground. Same thing, reaching for that toe, 10 total. Y'all get it done, come on. If you already started and you're finished, I'll tell you, go ahead and get your weights ready for a curtsy lunge. I'm done now too, so let's stand it up. We're gonna do a nice little curtsy lunge with a hammer curl at the bottom, okay? So we're gonna nice and slow curtsy, curl at the bottom of each one. If you need to alternate those curls, because you have some super heavy weight, do that. Let's roll those shoulders back. Start with that right leg going behind the left, curtsy. Give me a nice curl, one or both arms. Good, bring it to the top and switch. Blow that breath out right there. I want these nice and slow. The only reason your heart rate's getting up is because you're doing some good lifting. Some good working on those quads and thighs. Working on Robin's thigh gap again. Good, y'all. Keep your chest up. Don't do this. Okay, keep that chest up. Even if that means you can't lunge down as far, keep that chest up. Is your chest up? Are you thinking about your front heel? Think about your front heel as you press off of it and go to the other side. Press into that front heel. That'll get your hammy that good work. Last one. This whole series is a one equals one one. But we've got those crab touches again, y'all. 10 of them, either on your fanny or keeping your fanny raised, reaching for the opposite foot. I'll give me 10 plus two. You're done before me, keep going. Last one, and bring it up. All right, y'all, we have 30 dumbbell swings. I'm gonna show you. It's a kettlebell swing, which is using dumbbells, because most people don't have kettlebells in their home. If you have a kettlebell, totally use it, okay? This is gonna get our heart rate up. I'm gonna show you from the side, legs are nice and wide. You're gonna take that dumbbell, reach it back here and swing those hips. That kettlebell or dumbbell does not go above the shoulder face area. So we're not going all the way up here, all right? So we're gonna bend and snap, L Wood style. Y'all ready? Let's go. Bend and snap. Snap the hips forward, throw those hips so hard that back's cool. Blow it out as you go up. Come on, come on. If you have heavier dumbbells, this is time to use it because I just saw my own reflection going a little too high. That happens and comes from your weights. Do you like it? Come on, three. Two, one, curtsy lunges with hammer curls, y'all. Y'all ready? Curtsy lunges, hammer, hammer curls, alternating or both arms. Let's do it. Take that right foot back first. Don't let that knee go over the toe in the front. Keep your head up. Unless there's something on the floor you gotta look at because you're trying to avoid stepping in it or something. Keep that head up. Come on, that's halfway right there, y'all. Come on, you got this. Easy peasy, y'all. Last few right here.
Good, good. One more each side, finish it. Good, crab touches. Booty on the ground, a booty elevated, 10 total. Give me what you got, guys, come on. And you get to stay down on the ground after this one. But grab your weights and have them close. Your lighter one, if you have both. All right. We are going to the haymaker. We're going to do 40 seconds for our 40 on each side. And I'm going to show it to you. You can do it with no weight at all. You're going to have that arm over the shoulder. This arm is out to the side. We're just going to twist over, drop our knee to that side. We can't drop to the side all the way. That's fine. This right here is okay. Bring it back and sit it up. If you cannot sit it all the way up, make it a crunch. All right? You do not have to do a full sit up. Nobody can see you but me. All right? And right now, only three of you are on my screen. Do what you need to do for you. We got 40 seconds. Size? Are we alternating sides or staying on the same side? No, no, no. Stay on the same side for 40 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other for 40, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Y'all ready? So right arm goes up, right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Take it over. Tap that knee to the ground or towards the ground and sit it all the way up. If you can't sit it all the way up, you're a nice little high crunch. I'll show both versions and I'll alternate them. So if you didn't see it, just look up at me and you'll see. If you sit all the way up, I want you to be super proud of the top. Really reach tall, reach the shoulders, reach everything up. And blow all that breath out. Good, couple more. And officially that's time, but finish off the one you're in. Boom, good job y'all, switch it over. Left leg gets bent. All right, left arm over the shoulder. And your time starts now. Let's go over. Oops, I almost just stopped our time with my knee, y'all. Make sure you're not letting that arm waver when you go twist to the side. Look at it. Make sure it stays over your shoulder so you're not twisting or twerking your body in any weird ways while you're doing this. And again, I'll show the crunch version. This arm is out here. To your side, to that opposite arm is out there for support, for stability. Snap back. We're almost at time, so finish the one you're on. Good, and bring it up. We've got 30 of those kettlebell swings. So pick what dumbbell you want to use for that. I think we'll make it through this one. Yeah, maybe. Roll your shoulders back. Y'all ready? Use those dumbbells and swing. Boom, swing those hips. Boom. Stop at that shoulder eye level if you can. I know your weights aren't as heavy as you would use in the gym, but try and control it. Make that part of the motion for you, okay? Make that part of the move to control that weight. Come on. Blow that breath out, swing those hips forward. You're already halfway done and more. Come on, three. Give me two. Give me one. Let it go. Hammer curls, curtsy lunges. Twenty. 20 total, roll those shoulders. Right leg goes back first. Let's go. Curl at the bottom. Beautiful chest is up and proud. I mean, you're curtsying before the queen, but you're not bowing, just curtsy. That front toe is facing the front of whatever room you're in.
Y'all look gorgeous. Keep it going. Step gently. Think about your heel as you go down and up. Hold it on this side for me. Hold it, whatever side you're on, hold it. Roll your shoulders back. Let those weights dangle. Give me a little pulse right there. Come on, keep going. Five, four, three, two, switch it up. Take it down and hold it. Get your body right, roll your shoulders and pulse. Try and pulse where your knee back is going down, not the one in front going forward. Four, three, two, cut it out. Bring it up. Ten crab touches, y'all. Ten crab touches. Y'all ready? And you can stay down on the ground if you mess with the skippies on the ground, too. Booty up or down? I'll show you the down one this time. Good. And you need no weights for the next one, guys. No weights. Everybody okay? We're going to that 50. It's going to be 25 on each side. We're going to do a figure four bridge lift. How you doing, Jenny? Okay. All right. Figure four bridge lift to the cross crunch. So what's that going to look like? I sure hope y'all can see me okay. Man sit. Hands are going to be behind the head in that rest position. We're going to lift the booty. Cross crunch. Lift. Crunch across. Opposite elbow to knee. Join me. So press into the heel of that foot that's on the ground. As you go up and down, really working that hamstring. And it's just a crunch on the up, but try and get your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground. Come on, eight more on this side. Are you feeling your hamstring? I hope so. So I want that heel pressing into the ground. You can even lift that toe up if you need to just to make sure your heel's getting the real work. Come on, three more. Are you getting those shoulders up? Try and get them up. Last one. And switch it up. Other side, that man's it. Let's do it. Press into that heel. Crunch. You should get more flexible in that crunch as you go. So by the end, you're probably able to twist a little better. You're less stiff. Blow all your breath out when you crunch. Keep it up, keep it up, y'all got this. No problem, 10 more. And we're gonna go right into our 60 series. So I'm not sure we'll have time to go all the way back through it again and then go back to 60 and still get it all done. So let's do a few more. Come on, last two. Last one. Good, let's do our 60 second series. It's actually not a second. We're doing a nice little good morning. So you're going to bring it up to the top. So with a good morning, with a dumbbell, you're going to hold that dumbbell right here at your shoulders. All right? You're going to take those feet hip width apart. You'll see that? You're going to hinge at the back. All right, so you're going to think about pulling your fanny backwards as your chest goes forward, but your back stays nice and flat, there's no rounding. So we're right here. Take your weight to your heels. 60 seconds. Y'all ready? 
Let's go. Push into those heels. Keep that weight at your shoulders the whole time. All you're thinking is pelvis forward, pelvis back. Push fanny forward, shove fanny back. And you've got your weight all in your heels for this. It is all in your heels. Your hip width apart. Y'all look glorious. Hip width apart. Unless you're doing your legs wide for low back issues, and then I got you. Keep it going. Beautiful, y'all. Don't stop. Bring it right up there to those shoulders, like almost right at your Adam's apple, if you were to have an Adam's apple. There you go. Good, good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't stop, y'all. Some people are freezing on me. It looks like you're doing a hold. Come on, you got eight seconds. So shove it back, shove it forward. Good, hold it forward for me. Hold it in that flat back position and give me just a little pulse right here. Weight in the heels, soft knees, and you've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Let it go, y'all. All right, y'all. We have time today to get one more thing in. Let's get those 10 crab toe touches in. They'll give us one more little core work. But this time, two equals one. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four for our last set. Let's double it up. Y'all ready? Let's finish strong. Shut that fanny up if you're going for it up. And let's go. One, one. Two, three. Come on, this is it, y'all. This right here is halfway. Fifteen. Sixteen. Come on. Seventeen. Push through it. Sounded like a workout lady from the beach wave just then. I didn't like that. Last two. Let it go. Sit it down. Take your legs nice and wide. Grab the bottom of your shoe, lean your chest into your thighs. Like you are whipped. Good, let's lay it on the floor now, guys. Let's do that figure four stretch. So we're gonna lay back. Go back into that figure four, or man sit. Reach through the window around that thigh, pull it into your body. Pull those legs in. Feel that good stretch right about there. You can roll that ankle out too if you want. And back the other way. Good, switch it up. Other side, reach through, grab a round, pull it in. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite stretches. Roll the ankle. And back the other way. And let those bend those knees, grab behind them, rock yourself up to a seated position. Let's get those inner thighs real quick before we take it up. Slather a little bit of PBJ on those feet, smush them together. Pull them as close to your body as you can, sit up nice and tall, try to press those knees towards the floor, feel that big old stretch in those inner thighs. And breathe, y'all. Bring your head up. Give me an inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, slide those feet out in front of you. Still keep that back nice and flat. Hands to ankles, elbows inside the knees. Reach your chest and neck towards your tennis shoes. You're trying to get towards your tennis shoes. You're not going to touch them. Now round that back out and drop your head towards your shoulders. There you go. Let's bring it up. And when I said that about beach body, you're saying they're all with beach body. I just don't want to sound like I'm copying off the girls off beach body now. All right. So let's bring it up. If you need to grab something, grab it. I know you're all tired. At least I hope you are. Bring your right heel up to get acclimated. Pop that foot up. And let's get that quad stretch. I mean, this is shown on YouTube. I don't want somebody out there commenting on me, you know, getting all crazy and have people do it. Good. Let's get that hamstring. So take that same leg, kick it out in front of you with back up so you can see. Hands go on your bent leg, toe towards the ceiling. Point that toe as far as you 
hand feeling a big stretch in your calf. All right, now flatten that toe down to the ground. Give it a little tappy. And take it side to side. Bring it in, roll it up, rounding out that back all the way up. Pop that a little tipsy up. Get your balance, grab your Jennifer, you froze on me. Kick it out. Hands on the bent leg, toe to the ceiling. Flatten it. Flatten that tootsie. Give it a little tizzappy. And take side to side. Good. Bring it in. Roll it up. Ugh, that's a good step. Give me prayer hands. Press them out. Open wide. Wiggle those fingers. These little handy curls. <laughs> Thumbs down, press it. Good job. Go ahead and take those legs out nice and wide. Clasp those hands behind your back. Pull those shoulder blades together. Just like this. All right. And now go ahead and bend forward, lifting those arms up, feeling that stretch in those hamstrings. Release the hands down to the ground or as close as you can get them. And take that right arm and reach up and look up at that right hand. And switch it up. And back down, bend those knees, hands go on top of the knees, round your back out as you slowly roll it up. Give me a big old inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, drop it down. Unmute yourself, say hey, say bye.